All right, I'm going to talk about the, I think it's BMR. The BMR um, torque box reinforcements. So in here, here's part of it. This is for the, uh, the lowers. And so there's another plate obviously that's inside that ties into that. Um, those were super easy to put on. They're, they're like any other kit that you do with these cars. Uh, they're pretty much all the same except for the uppers. I went with these for this reason. It just looked way stronger to me. Uh, so you have these. There, they bolt in with the, I'm sorry, those were for the other ones were the lower control arm. The upper control arm, it goes through there and it rides up here and it ties into the frame right there. And I like that obviously on both sides, but here, the other side has a bar that ties the right and left sides together. There's a little black paint. I'll explain that in a minute. So you got both upper control arms tied together like solid. I mean, this back end of this car now feel it's like a rock. So as far as rigidity, this here is about the only thing I had to modify. So that there is the bump stop. Okay, I had to cut an, a window out because that thing rides like right in it. So I just had to trim a little bit off so I could run it through there. So I, what I had to do is just, I mean, this car, man, everything comes off like it's brand new. So that wasn't even an issue. Like those bolts came right out, no problem. Just take those three bolts, I had it out on the table and I just, you know, put it on and off till it fit. But I would definitely recommend this setup and I was worried at first about the exhaust, like if it was going to hit, but it, everything just clears. I, obviously, it was made for the car, so you might see uh, up there some scratches on it, but that's not from the exhaust. That might have been from me putting the exhaust on, but um, yeah, definitely a good setup uh, as far as mounting it, so... You have those two screws up there. So what you have to do is, uh, they, there's sleeves that go inside of there. You drill out one side, you drill out the outboard side to the bigger size that the sleeve will fit in. And the other side is a, like two sizes smaller. So the sleeve goes in and it, it stops, it can't go any farther. And then the you know the bolt goes through and holds it up in there once you get it, and that will also hold it in there when you're going to put. You have to have a stop on one side so it doesn't go, or go all the way through, and like fall. But basically, what you have to do is before you put this bar on there. Actually, before you do anything, you just like have the control arm. You could have the control arm on, I guess, but you want to bolt it up. So the only thing that sucks about this that takes longer is you have to bolt that in like that and then put this up on the frame where it's going to go and then mark your holes and then take it back off again so you could drill them. And then that's when you put the, the spacer sleeves in between. The sleeves go inside the square tube box frame, you know, the, the car's frame. That's what, that's why it's, it's there so that when you crank the bolts down, you don't smash the frame. That's what the sleeves are for. But that's basically what you, all you have to do is you just mount this front one, rotate it up into the frame, and then you circle your holes and drill them and you're good to go. And then you can put it back on for good. And then when you do that, you're gonna have this bolt backed out You'll have this bolt backed out enough to put this center bar in there and then just 
like spin the nuts or the bolts through so that you can get onto the other side and put the nuts on but yeah um totally totally makes the car solid i didn't like the ideas of those ones that they're like shaped they're like curve shaped and then and, you're, and then you have that uh they have these funky spacers on it that bolt through the floor i just thought this was way stronger looking way more solid i mean and tying the two sides of the car together i mean what how could that be bad right so uh, that is why i went with that and as far as money wise i don't even think it was that much more for that setup so highly recommended um i want to say it's bmr i think so uh yeah any questions on that uh I know there's another video of it. Of course, you know, I have it done already. I, mean, I didn't think about doing all this stuff before. So I'm kind of like going over it. But he didn't even show, you know, some of those didn't even show how he did. You go about mounting the pieces up and his pictures are very, there wasn't a lot of them. So this this is better than the other one I saw. Uh but if you need anything else more detailed, I definitely could get in. And I'm glad the parts are red because it's easier for you to see it. So, anyway, that's that on that. And like I said, if you like what you see, subscribe. And I will, I will be doing a lot more stuff. I'll be getting a little bit better, too. This is all new to me. So, I keep saying that, but it's true. All right. Till next time. Later.